Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Lost Chevalier, and you're welcome back to Hand of Fate. Yesterday we hit 300 subscribers, so celebration! And we're going to keep going. We are not stopping until we get Queen of Skulls, until we get a thousand subscribers. And we are not going to stop there either. We are going just to go more and more and more and more up. Lore. If you necromancer possess the skill or courage to attempt the creation of such creature, any misstep ber bearing the ceremony could result in hideous, painful death. So much death and sorrow in the world. Can you hear the winds keening in loss? Can you hear the dirges as the trees and the earth cry out in sorrow? This is the Queen of Skulls, and that is all she can hear. It has driven her to madness. Her touch is the promise of death, and I say to you, you were warned. Farewell. Hey, oh, come on. It will not be that difficult. The lands of the Queen of Skulls are unhealthy for the living. How unhealthy are we talking about? Oh my god. I see how unhealthy. Give me all the cards, please. <laughs> Perfect. Put everything in their respective desk. Dex. You have Thank you. reached the depths of the game that you have attained. They were too weak or too inflexible, too passionate or lacking in the necessary will. You are different. Thank you. Let's go. Well, fighting the Radman and nothing is going to come out of it that whoa. Okay, a six is a little overkill, if you ask me. I think you have gone a little overboard. I mean, I can deal with them. I have a shield, so I shouldn't have a problem. Come at me. What are they? And death. Oh, damn it. God damn it. Okay, you two. Can you die? Die. God damn it, they made me a lot of damage. <coughs> they managed to land a lot of hits. Whoa! One foot to gain. I'm sure Good. you are grateful for that. I am. The maiden. I need gold. It's for gold. Merit seems surprised. It is unlikely an adventure to beg for coin, but very well if that is what you wish. 30 gold. 14 gold. 3 gold. Awesome. Keep going. Mr. Lionel. Uh, yes, your name is Mr. Lionel. I will give you... 20 gold. What do you have? Ooh, Life Slim. Press 1 to inflict a curse of weakening to enemies close to you. Strike a curse enemy for bonus damage. This also removes the curse. Of course, I want to. Are you sure, that's the right approach. It is. Okay, let's go over here now. Oh, Goblin Kings! No, I don't like this event. On their foolishness. Great news, Mr. Lionel the Great declares excitedly, bursting from the back of a wagon as it passes you, along a well-traveled path through a sunny meadow. One of the Goblin King's sons has, sons has decided to challenge the old foe, fool for his position as ruler of our people. Under Goblin Law, he can legally take his father's place if he can beat him in a single combat. But the king, crafty as luck that he is, has hidden the crown in the treasure vaults. Without the crown, the leadership cannot be resolved. There must be chaos in the capital. Ask about the capital. 
Um, oh, Goblin Town is hidden away in the in an enormous cavern under one of the human cities. You wouldn't believe which one, even if I told you. It is full of thieves, you know. No point in no point visiting unless you have business with the king or his family. Anyway, the point is that the crown is in one of the treasure vaults. If we can find it, then I can use it to blackmail the king into letting me back into the city. How about it, friend? Let's go. That's the spirit, Lionel says, gleefully, rubbing his hands together. That crown is going to get me back to my rightful place. You lead the way this time. Hours later, you stand, you stand staring through a doorway into another vault. Good luck, my friend, Lionel says, giving you a reassuring pat on the arm. Find the treasure chest. The crown must be in there. You pause for a moment, wondering if... That was a voice you heard echoing between the traps. Lionel gives you a helpful kick on the rear, sending you through the doorway. That Lionel is a menace. I'm recording, right? Yes. Okay, what the hell? Well, he's throwing bombs. So I need to move. God damn it. Okay, here's the chest. Pick everything up. I guess I already did. Did I? Yeah, I, I, I already did. Surely I already did. God damn it. Oh, really? Okay, done. Outside, you meet with Mr. Lionel. Did you get it? He asks excitedly. Quickly, you must have it. You hold out the goblin crown. It's an ugly wooden thing and devoted with large gems for his inspection. The crown might take it home at last. Just as he reaches out to take the crown, a trio goblin appears for the treasure vault. One of them saying, I'm telling you, there was a human down here. The goblin stops dead and stares at you. Look, one of them screams. He stole the king's crown. You turn back to discover that Mr. Lionel is nowhere to be seen. Stop, thief! One of the goblin guards yells as another goblin blows on his horn and a magical portal appears. More goblins begin to arrive and yelling and pointing in your direction. Cut him! yells one. Seize him! yells another. You are the king's favorite! You seize him! You decide to leave before the increasing number of goblin guards bolster their courage enough to, competent, to compel them into action. One more piece Discarded. of the puzzle for you. This card token is now yours. Good. Now let's get out of here. Exit the cave. I did not create this game, you know. I have merely perfected it. You have begun to understand my innovations. Okay. Dark Dweller. Even I am unsure where this thing springs from. Your, your path is blocked by an evil mass of tentacles and eyes. Even as you watch, the thing sprouts new limbs, reaching eagerly at you. Attempt to get around the creature. Okay, this is bad. This is really bad. I think it's this one. Select your nope. Desire. Your luck lasts only so long before the tentacle gets get a hold of you. Minus 15 health. Oh dear. Lose one equipment? No! My my helmet. Well, luckily we have a shop here. So few trade in the land of death that deals are easy to strike. Maybe we will get a new helmet. Um, fool's goal. Great helm of reinforcement. This unique item. Oh wait. Does fire damage on and on hits against undead. I will take it. I will buy it. Equip it, of course. Cowardice. Ah, let us see how you progress with that millstone around your neck. Of course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. I will Still, buy this one. I can fairly to see how you handle your disadvantages. Heal wounds. Um, no, I need to. I will buy some food. Uh, 
another food, please. Oh, damn it, I have two curses now. Well, maybe there is a place where I can get Angry Guild Master. Everything is light or darkness, and our prince straddles the borders. Let's steal from him. <coughs> I want a huge success, so we're going to follow it. This one. Oh no. While reaching for a low hanging coin purse, your hand becomes tangled in the reins. You are dragged along underneath the horse for some time. Ouch. Oh no. Oh, well, that's not bad. 30% uh, of my gold. I don't have that much gold, so. Damn it. That was terrible. Alicia Underworld. I will happily wager on the outcome. Oh, this one. Uh, let us pay the gold. Have what it takes. This one. At last. Yes. The mystic eyes flies wide open. You, your fortune is awash with death and destruction, but there is also hope. You carry fortune's favor with you. How may I aid you in, the, in your endeavors? To someone with such a powerful aura as yours, I could tell of what I know. The price for such information, though, will be high. Sadly, I see that you have nothing I desire, no powerful artif magical artifacts. Perhaps after you return with one, I will be more forthcoming. Oh, really? Yeah, what about no? I don't have the gold. A horse is a fine companion. Hitch a ride. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends. Oh, I don't Even have the money to the give you a loan. Shame. Another shop. A permanent discount. Plus by willing to endure the local color. Let's continue. Oh, that King's Hall. Maybe we can get some gold out of this. The Two of Dusk. Skulls returns to the fray. Would you expect any less? Well, the Jack of Skull is here. Huge success. This one is huge success. Or just success. You escape. Well, I couldn't fight them even if I wanted to. Hero remains. So often, this is how the story ends, is it not? The hero tries, the hero dies. Their memory is celebrated, but they are lost. You pass a funeral. It's obvious for the side of the profession that the deceased was a well loved figure. You are approached by the cleric. This great hero fell defending our beloved town of Wondermare. His sword and shield are powerful artifacts, but must be returned to his hometown for the proper burial rites to be completed. Will you do this, traveler? Yes, thank you. This will mean the world to his family. The town will be will have revolted had this artifact not been returned. I'm not far from the hero's hometown. Look for the town clearly when you get there. Vikings play an no of rage and anger. You wouldn't expect and pain. barbarian hordes. I will not I will not put it. No 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 no. And hurry, it is not wise to anger the spirits of the dead by any legend by the by, by not even that. I As far as player lose fifty percent max health. Seeing how you approach this particular challenge. Okay, where is the hero's return? Oh that, back there. Okay, I will go there. Here we go. Look. Look deeply. This is the fate of heroes. You reach Wondermare, hometown of the dead adventure. The town cleric meets you at the gate. He appears to have been standing vigil. Return to hero's sword. Thank you. This blade will once again be wielded by in righteous fury. Do you have his shield? Return to hero's shield. Truly, you have done the almighty's work in returning this shield. Thank you. Bless our... Best are we who protected can fell those who trespass against us. Two blessing car and the token is now mine. Lizard either symbol food for the beast of the light. Ooh, and something of the dead. I didn't, I didn't have time to read it though. I click it without knowing. How can I see my inventory? Here it is. I need to see my blessings, blessings, blessings. Here is all you have gained. Upgrades. What do you mean by upgrades? Oh, the goblet and this and the scepter. 
No, what I need to see is my freaking blessing. Here it is. Merchant Guild. All traders have been pursued to offer cheaper items. Yeah, I know that. Haunted. Wherever the player purchases a new item, they gain a curse. Cowardice. What is the player cannot choose a combat encounter choice if they are any other choices? Ah, damn it. Arcane friendly. Player takes extra damage from ranger attacks. And holy touch. Undead does physically strike the player may receive damage themselves. I need to get rid of the coward, this one. Okay, the stairs. Take the stairs. What brings you to play the game? I know you will not tell me. Go in the rat man. I don't have the money. Get out of here. That's a hell of an expensive car. Strange in the shadows. The count enters the picture. On a dark moonless night. Down a, lone, down a lonely road, you encounter a hooded stranger. Greetings, friend. I am in need of some sustenance. Would you be willing to offer some of your bigger in exchange for gold? He asked, taking out a bag of coins. I accept. The stranger moves with unholy speed to grasp you, but suddenly recoils at your holy touch. The stranger writhes on the ground, smoke rising from his burns. Attack. This one. Failure. God damn it. You launch forward, but the creature is too quick for you as he leaps into the shadows. From within the inky darkness, he curses you. Again. In every combat, Another the last enemy alive has no longer been stunned or interrupted. God damn it. Another shop. I don't have gold for it. They have Pass it by. Their here. Helpful priest. Why can I offer you helpful priest? Half my food. Take it. And give me a lot of things, please. I think this one is the one success. Oh, well. Miller is success. It's okay. One blessing. Warden angel. After your free chance card speed, you may return to the card draw again. That's super cool. Super useful. Um, can I buy any food with five gold? I hope I can. Well, yes I can. Can I sell you something that I'm not using? I can sell you the axe. Oh wait, I have another sword here. Strike curse enemy for bonus damage. This also removes the curse. But I'm using the undead bane, so I can sell this one actually. All the other things, I'm using them. Now if I buy some food, I should be okay. Good. Leave? Of course I will leave. Next area. Hitch a ride. Better than trudging along a muddy road. Hitch a ride. Okay, this map is a little convoluted. Holy Forge. A brotherhood of peace in the service of war. Never trust a priest. On a dusty and lonely plain, you come across the shattered remains of an old monastery. Searching the building, you meet an old man dressed in dirty robes. Long ago, we of the Brotherhood forged holy weapons to support the war against the infidels, but the infidels were strong, and one day, one of their raiding parties took us by surprise. They destroyed most of our tools and took our supplies, including all of the red metal ore that we used to craft their, our weapons. The king's army never returned after that day. I know, I know not what became of them in the years that follow. I have stayed here all these years, but only the ghost remains to keep me company. All of the other who survived the attack left long ago. You bid them, you bid them all farewell and leave him standing in the silent empty ruin. I couldn't do anything, even if I wanted to. What the hell? Okay, interesting. Why did I get ladder escape? Wait, 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 wait. Let me see the rest of the map. What the hell is that up there? I will not go to the tentacles, that's for sure. 
Holy Forge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave. So sad. What is up there? I don't. I don't particularly care about this. Pass it by. I don't have the money to do anything. What is this? Metal ore. Sparse and relatively empty. As you traverse. Skip over these moments in our memory. Yet something has caught you here. As you traverse a particular tricky trail across the mountain ridge, you notice a dark ravine beneath you. Something glitters in the dim sunlight that reaches the base of that cavern. Climb down. In the gloom of the narrow canyon, you find the old remains of a wooden cart, apparently having fallen down years ago. You find nothing of worth except a chunk of glittering metallic ore. It might not sell for much in its current state, but perhaps you can find somebody who can use it. You take it and make your way back to the path. So we have the metal or he needs. Let's go down there. With only three food, you'd better hope to finish this quickly, or hunger will finish it for you. The monk's eyes widen in surprise as he exclaims, By the old gods, where did you find that? He looks the metal over carefully. If you really put it in the hard work, stranger, together we could fire up the old forge one last time. You spend several days with the old monk, by day you toil together at the forge, and by night you swam places of your adventures for a share of his food. Eventually you hold the complete weapon in your hands. Battle hammer and it's holy. I will take it. Thank you, warrior, for giving this old relic one last chance to prove its worth. Good luck on your journey. The token is not mine. Okay, let's keep going then. Ladder escape. Climb the ladder. I hear uh, nothing but the sounds of mourning. Rodman. She is close. Six of play. God damn it. Well, I can I can deal with them. I can totally deal with them. First off, we need to take care of there are not range enemies. Take that. Wow, this hammer does a lot of damage. I hope they have some food. One food gain. Three food. Good. Okay, what's up here? The lovers. Um Report him to the woman's father. <laughs> The young man flees as you knock on the door. An armed guards take you to the dining hall, where a large, well-dressed man sits noisily eating a lavish banquet. The noble, the noble doesn't look up and continues to eat, as you tell him about the young sweeter who intends to steal away his daughter. A gesture to the guards sends them from the room, and soon afterwards, they return with a young man struggling between them. I curse you, fiend! cries the young man as he's dragged away. Eh, I have so many curses. On every success without gauntlets, the player loses a ring. The nobleman stops eating long enough to say, You have been useful. My guards will see that you are rewarded on your way out. Three food. Oh, thank God. Three, five food. Oh, this was I'm perfect. Sure grateful for that. Yep. I am super grateful. Oh, no, Dark Dweller. Evil made flesh, but with no craft or substance. Flee back for when you care. To grief your soul lingers for hours I'm after you feel it safely. Oh no, I have to go through it. Attempt to get around the creature. Choose from this one. Options. No. Redraw. This one? No. Two pain cars. No, maximum Thanks. health. One equipment. My helmet. I'm surprised. Marketplace. Of a closed marketplace amongst your I will keep all my food I needed. A shop, but I don't have no gold. Pass it by. 
Noble Trader. No, I will not sell my weapon. Get lost. Treasure chest. What can I do with this? Approach the treasure chest. Maybe there is something useful inside. This one. Confirm. The Sala, you approach the treasure chest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Attempt to pry it open. This one. Perfect. Uh, for gain. One equipment. Fool's goal. On but every weapon ability gold, usage, all bandits get stunned for three turns. Kill gets applied to goal. Okay. 25 gold. Good. More gold for you. 5 gold. With it, more problems. 40 gold. Yeah, but I don't need the gold. I'm about to go into fighting with the Queen of Skulls. Face death and learn your fate. Marius wants to create a legion of skeletons. This I can deal with her. Unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Yes, I can. Don't worry about it. I will win. With this weapon I have now, nothing can defeat me, especially on that. And four of skulls. I can totally take care of them. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Awesome character. Now, if you don't mind, I need to kill it. Okay, I need to destroy that totem. Already dead. Oh my god, this weapon is so OP. What are you trying to escape? Are you trying to escape a skeleton? Die! Who else remains? No one. I just need to pick up the car. Then it's See? done. When even a creature as haunting as the Queen of Skulls perishes, we know the game is almost done. The kings are gathering now. Do you see now what I have built? How elegantly all the pieces fit. For helping Mr. Lion I know with his quest, you receive Goblin's King Crown, Goblins, and Maze of Traps. For returning to Blondie of the Dead here in Watermere, you receive 10 gold per vessel on Warcry. For working in the Holy Forge, you receive Drought Tree, select one to equip, and Forbidden Armor. For defeating the Queen of Skulls, you receive Queen of Plague, the Lizardman Dove. And finally. We received two equipment cards, Arrow Gather and Mortally Winsley. Perfect. One more round. You have earned it. Let us approach the Mother of Plagues. Make Thank you. Your choices. But this is all the time I have today. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I hope you had a blast. I was the Lost Chevalier, signing out. Bye bye.